Shut it off! <coughs> if we let them recharge indefinitely, they'll go out of control. Right. I never input a command to shut down the extractor, so you don't understand what I'm saying. In the end, it's just like the Academia said. Mechanical life forms only bring danger. My research... Was there any point to it at all? I'm sorry, Kakata. In the end, I still wasn't able to turn you... into a true... mechanical... life. Form. I see. So the ley line effluence was an accident. After Avatui's unexpected death, the mechanical monsters were driven by their instincts and continuously drew out power from the ley line extractor. Paimon understands. Then why didn't Karkata go haywire like the other machines? Because Karkata is different from the other machines. Structures similar to living organisms, the ability to cry and laugh, and capacity for independent thought. To Abatui, only a machine with these features could be considered a mechanical life form. Perhaps only by building such a machine could he have the academia acknowledge his protracted research. But if he had slowed down and saw Karkata as a friend instead of an experimental product, he would have noticed. Karkata can't speak. <sighs> and yet it cares about Abatui far more than it does about itself. What does that mean? You'll see in a bit. But before that, we have a more urgent task at hand. First, let's find the control unit for the ley line extractor and shut it down. Transparent flooring. It feels like a maze. Below us is the final room. The control unit is likely in there. The land's here! Mm. Wanna try jumping down? Oh. Propagate! Gotcha! <laughs> Can't see? Scatter! Illusion shut! Just rebuild! Quietly now. One with the forest. Let's nip that in the butt. 
This should be the control unit. Once we turn it off, the ley line extractor should also shut down. Without an external force damaging the ley lines, they should start to slowly repair themselves. Oh, but I bet you two are more worried about Karkata. Let's head back. Take it easy. Kata is unable to understand the concept of death. However, it probably remembers when Abatui replaced its parts when it melted. It's true that Karkata isn't able to think or understand many topics, but it is like a small child that imitates what adults do. So that's why it kept stealing mechanical parts. But it can't repair its owner, no matter how hard it tries. Yes, but the important thing is that it formed the thought of wanting to repair Abatui. No one knows how this thought came to be, but it has even suppressed the instincts that Abatui had installed. If it really is as we've predicted, this research truly will make waves in the academia. It might have been possible to achieve this with ancient technology, but no one has been able to do the same with modern tools. Karkata? Karkata? Can you hear Paimon? Tainari says you're awesome! It reached its limit. It hasn't recharged this entire time. Nor has it replaced its severely damaged parts. It's a miracle that it managed to hang on for so long. I'm going to confirm that the Leyline Extractor has shut down. Come with me. Let them be alone for a while. The leyline extractor has ceased operations. Traces of leyline energy are still in the atmosphere, but the effluence's source has been stopped. The purification devices will handle the rest. Moving on, those affected by the ley lines need immediate care. We'll put up an announcement on the bulletin board about the dangers of- According to the Academia's policies, we need to bring everything back. Research materials related to mechanical life forms will be destroyed and Karkata will be disassembled and sealed away. What the heck? You two should return first. 
I'll take care of things here. Although we've stopped the source of the effluence, the ley line energy in the air exceeds normal values. Your bodies won't be able to hold up if you continue to stay here. Uh, but... Listen, the Traveler hasn't rested very well, right? Also, it'll take some time to pack up all the research documents. You're not familiar with this research after all, so you won't be of much use here. Tell the Adventurer's Guild that the incident has been resolved, and then get some sleep. We can discuss matters tomorrow. Oh, and don't talk about Abatui. The fewer that know about mechanical life form research, the better. All right. Then let's go back to Catherine. Is Karkata going to be sent back to the academia? It's already damaged, but Paimon feels sad thinking about it getting disassembled. Oh, then how about we find Tainari tomorrow and ask him not to do that? Paimon really wants to go right now, but Tainari said that we would discuss matters tomorrow. Alright then, we'll find Tainari tomorrow and tell him not to disassemble Karkata. We should go find Tainari. Um, how do you think we should ask him? Tainari! Shh, keep your voice down. The Lilac Daphne, a Daphne of the genus Themiliaceae, has a strong anti-convulsant effect, can be made into an anesthetic powder. Extrapolating from these two datasets, it would be particularly potent against Piscine species. Hey, make sure you're getting all this down. Karkata? <laughs> I told you all to keep your voices low. Plants aren't afraid of noise, but your shouting is making my ears ring. You... you didn't disassemble Karkata? Why would I do that? But... Paimon thought you said, according to the Academia's policies... So that's why you two barged in like barbarians at this hour. Fine, I suppose I wasn't clear enough about this yesterday. What I meant was, according to the Academia's policies, all products of research must be destroyed. That's why we can't let the Academia discover that place. Anyway, the first thing I did was repair Karkata. During my time at the Academia, I took an elective course at the Spantama. Who knew it would prove useful one day? We then buried Abatui together. After organizing the research materials, I kept some as a souvenir. Most of it was burned to hide the evidence. I'm not with the Academia, so what do their policies have to do with me? On the other hand, I am the Forest Watcher of the Avidya Forest. I have a duty to protect all life in the forest. All life brought forth in this world has meaning, and Karkata is no exception. If it exists, then it shouldn't be carelessly abandoned or destroyed. <laughs> 